dinosaurs were some of the biggest and most fearsome of animals that ever walked the planet. But there were more than just dinosaurs roaming the Earth during this time. There were other creatures that were more terrifying looking and even more dangerous. One of the beasts on this picture is real, and the other is fake. Can you guess them? You'll see one scary monster that almost no one knows about that ate dinosaurs like Allosaurus or Tyrannosaurus rex and had bigger teeth than both of them. But first to the creepy crawlies. The largest land-dwelling bug of all time, this creepy prehistoric creature is called Arthropleura and was an herbivorous arthropod that lived in northeastern North America and Scotland 315 to 299 million years ago during the late Carboniferous period. What made this creature the most terrifying was its size, its appearance, and how fast it could move. Fossilized footprints of the Arthropleura have been found in many places and appear as long, parallel rows of small points, which show that it moved quickly across the forest floor, swerving to avoid obstacles such as trees and rocks. The flattened body of the Arthropleura was composed of approximately 30 jointed segments, each of which was covered by two side plates and one center plate. The ratio of pairs of legs to body segments was approximately 8 to 6, similar to some present-day millipedes. Just imagine being in a forest and hearing the loud, scratching sound of a giant Arthropleura running towards you. They probably wouldn't eat you, but it would be scary enough to see an 8-foot long by 2-foot wide armored bug with lots of legs coming after you. Sometimes, something doesn't need to be extremely large or have terrifying fangs to be creepy or scary. Not the only creepy bugs at the time. Ancient cockroaches made it through the Great Dying Period between the Permian and Triassic periods. Yeah, there's just no getting rid of them. In fact, they were one of the most dominant species during the Carboniferous period around 360 million years ago, around 112 million years before the dinosaurs. But these were not the same modern-day cockroaches, and they were twice as big and had a long neck, swiveling head, and longer legs than the modern species. Basically, it resembles a cross between a roach, a crane fly, and a praying mantis. Yeah, flying cockroaches, that's something that should terrify anyone. These early cockroaches weren't just scavengers like they are now, they were little monsters, solitary hunters able to run fast and take flight and grab prey in midair, with strong, short spines on its legs that impaled its prey. If that doesn't sound weird enough, this cockroach also had an extra set of eyes that were located on the top of its head so it could help spot predators, such as feathered dinosaurs that lived during the time. New discoveries in 2015 turned up an especially drastic and brutal species, the Raphidiomidae, a cockroach with an 8-inch wingspan, eyes divided into two parts, and its stomach containing large parts of demolished insects. And to no one's surprise, the lineage that survives today is the modern praying mantis. Imagine a snake so big it could easily swallow a dinosaur whole. Fossils of the massive Titanoboa were found that date back 60 million years ago in Colombia that were so large that it stunned scientists. Between 58 million, a few million years after the fall of the dinosaurs, during the Paleogene period, a place called Seheyon was an immense swampy jungle where everything was hotter, wetter, and much bigger than it is today. But the lord of this jungle was the Titanoboa. The biggest fossilized remains measure more than 42.7 feet long and have an estimated weight of almost one and a half tons. The huge snake looked something like a modern-day boa constrictor, but it behaved more like today's water-dwelling anaconda. Living and hiding in the swamp, this fearsome predator was able to eat any animal that caught its eye. The thickest part of its body would be nearly as high as a man's waist as it lay on the ground and would eat crocodiles of the ancient Seheyon Formation Columbia in South America. After eating such a large crocodile, the snake would go an entire year without eating again. The plesiosaurs were a group of marine reptiles that appeared and disappeared almost at the same time as the dinosaurs, so the popular confusion of the two groups is understandable. The Leopleurodon was a giant carnivore that roamed the seas and oceans of the Earth and could reach lengths of over 30 feet long and weighing almost 10 tons. A creature this size had 18-inch long teeth and would eat marine animals and dig up things laying on the ocean bed like a scavenger. 
They were definitely ominous because of their size and all the sharp teeth they had for catching squid and other marine animals. But as the chain of life goes, there was an even bigger creature that preyed on the Lyopleurodon. In 2009, a massive sea monster was uncovered and no one knew what it was. In fact, they didn't even know what to call this monster of the seas, so they named it Predator X. You guessed right if you meant the smaller beast. The massive skull they found was twice as large and a bite four times stronger than T-Rex. Yes, the perpetual yardstick for all things prehistoric. Predator X lived in the oceans and seas some 150 million years ago and was discovered in Svalbard, a remote Norwegian Arctic archipelago. The remains measured some 50 feet long, giving this creature an estimated weight of around 50 tons. The teeth in this massive 6.5 long skull measured 1 foot long, and it's estimated that its bite force would be around 33,000 pounds of force. Now named Pleosaurus funke, this creature is being called the top predator of the sea, but researchers are now saying it's an entirely new species of animal and eight other pleosaurs. Predator X hunted in deep waters, but because of its huge size, it could not follow prey into shallow waters. But if those one-foot-long teeth got anywhere near its prey, it was all over. Predator X probably ate a lot of sharks, but we wonder if it ever ran into a megalodon or a scary-looking helicoprion. Evolution is very interesting when you see how long it has come from prehistoric times, and especially when we are talking about the helicoprion. This shark lived some 290 to 250 million years ago. It's argued it's not a shark, but a chimera that broke off from the shark lineage around 400 million years ago. Regardless, it's not cute and fluffy, but instead had a table saw-like blade full of razor-sharp teeth that protruded from its lower jaw. It is estimated to have been around 25 feet long and weighed around 1,000 pounds. It's hard to imagine how this species ate its prey with its jaw like this and somehow it managed to survive the Permian-Triassic extinction event, which killed 90% of all marine animals and 70% of all land animals. However, just a few million years later, and it became extinct. Another creature that is often mistaked for a dinosaur, but it is not, the Quetzalcoatlus is a pterosaur that lived approximately 70 to 65 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. They looked a little like a pterodactyl, having a long, sharp beak and a 33-foot wingspan, but they looked more like a weird giraffe that walked on all four limbs and had webs between the legs for flying. One of the oddest looking creatures, scientists say this huge beast could leapfrog into the air using all four limbs. Two of those limbs had ultra-strong wings which, when folded and balanced on a knuckle, served as front legs. That helped the creature to walk, and when it wanted, leap into the sky. These winged lizards ruled the skies more than 200 million years ago until the mass extinction event that happened 65 million years ago wiped them out along with the dinosaurs. Originally, it was thought to eat fish and crustaceans, like most other pterosaurs. However, it was later found that it lived 250 miles or more from any shore during the Cretaceous period with no evidence for inland water sources for miles around. Now it's thought it was probably a scavenger and fed on the carcasses of dead dinosaurs and probably leftovers of larger predatory dinosaurs like Spinosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex. There was a creature that lived around 82 to 73 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period in ancient swamps. It is called Dinosuchus, which in Greek means terrible crocodile. It was huge, about twice the size of a modern-day saltwater crocodile. Fossilized remains of dinosaurs, both large and small, were found next to the remains of this prehistoric beast proving that it was the dinosaur-eating monster. It measures around 33 feet long, with its skull being 6 feet long alone. It had big, 22 big razor-sharp teeth and strong jaws, built for crushing bones and tearing flesh. It was a scary-looking crocodile, and fossils show that its back was covered with thick hemispherical scales and bony deposits. Despite on how big this crocodile could get, Dinosuchus was probably capable of killing and eating larger dinosaurs. But like most predators, it also ate sea turtles, fish, and probably anything else it could catch. Like modern-day crocodiles, which have the strongest recorded bite of any current living animal at 3,690 pounds of force, Dinosuchus also had a crushing bite force estimated to be from 4,050 to 23,100 pounds of force. 
Even the strongest man-eating dinosaurs had bite forces that were much less. Even the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex. If you thought the last crocodile sounds terrifying, then you have never heard of Razana. Razana Drongobe Sakalave. A bone-crushing prehistoric crocodile that was as big as a full-size pickup truck. Measuring 23 feet long and weighing around 2,600 pounds. No one had known this huge reptile even existed until new fossil records were dug up in Madagascar. 170 million years ago, this ferocious monster hunted there and, unlike regular crocodiles, ran on its hind legs and could reach speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. It had very powerful jaws with around 48 sharp-edged serrated teeth that were even bigger than the T-Rex teeth. Rosanna also had other teeth perfect for scraping the flesh off the bones of its prey. But tooth damage showed it crunched on bones and tendons and probably ate everything it could as a scavenger. Even meat-eating dinosaurs were on the menu, and it was speculated that it hunted down whatever it could catch, including Tyrannosaurus rex, where it would wait and ambush its prey. Fossil evidence shows that Rosanna was at the top of the food chain during the Middle Jurassic period. Which of these did you think is the most terrifying? Tell us in the comments. And if we missed one, let us know and we may feature it in our next video. If you don't want to miss out on new videos, click the subscribe button and turn on notifications and you'll be the first to know when a new video is released. Thanks for watching.